Well, the backyard Bermuda sure is looking good for the summer that we had. Got a nice little recovery coming along. I've got the green part. I've got the lawn part. However, I don't have the real part anymore. Let me explain. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, there's no McLean mower anymore. I had to get rid of it. I sold it. That's right. No more real green lawn. We're just green lawn. It's funny, I had somebody comment on that one time and say, you spelled real wrong. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. So, why did I sell my McLean? Well, let me explain what happened. Um, oh, I forgot something. So, this spring, I was doing my spring scalp and uh, blew the chain off of it. Had to wait a while for the part to come in. So once I got the chain in, got it all put back on and continue with my spring mowing schedule, started knowing that the thing started hard edging. You know, if you've seen on the forums where the McLean mowers have one side that's almost looks like it's missing a strip and just leaves a hard edge, essentially, hard line in your lawn. And then you got a double cut, maybe even triple cut to try to alleviate it. And so I started chasing down that problem. I knew that my mower was running out of life. Um, last season, the real setting was very low towards the bed knife. And I was like, all right, we're coming to the end of this. So how much time am I gonna get out of this mower? And once it started doing that, started chasing, you know, back lapping, trying to square everything up, and it just started getting worse and worse. So I tried to buy a, a, a used bed knife off eBay and kind of thought maybe that will alleviate the edging problem. Could raise the reel up, get a little bit more life out, out of it. Didn't work. I think it even made it worse. Um, it probably needed to be taken in uh, to have a grind on it, but I don't think their life on the reel or the bed knife had enough room for it to go through a grinding process. That's just me personally looking at it. Um, so I didn't even bother going down that route. I was like, you know what? I think it's time to punt it. Get, get it to somebody who uh, can use it and take it to the next level. So when I sold it, you know, I advertised it as, hey, it has little to no life on the reel and bed knife. Essentially what you are buying is the grass catcher, a really good Briggs and Stratton motor, and you know, a few extra parts here and there. And that's how I had it priced. I made sure that somebody knew that they weren't taking home a mower that was ready to go because it wasn't. It was more of like a parts mower in my opinion, because since it wasn't a post 1990, Parts are hard to find by it or find for it. And so anyway, I explained all that to the guy and you know, we made a deal and I think he got a great deal on the parts that he was buying off of it because you couldn't buy those parts new for the price that you bought my mower. But where does that leave me? Cause now I'm not the real green lawn anymore. I'm just green lawn. Well, the auto mowers kind of surprised me how well it can maintain this backyard. We're a little over an inch on the height of cut, and it does great. It does great. Um, the problem is I'm a little bit too removed from working in the lawn, which in the middle of summertime I'm okay with, but fall, spring, sorry, fall, winter, and spring, it's nice out here. I kind of want to be outside. So, you know, if you were me, what would you do? You know, leave a comment. Would you go after another McLean? Save up a little bit more, go for the more commercial uh, greens mower? Um, or just let it be what it is. Auto mower, still got the Honda HRX 217. That baby runs strong. Can always come out here and reset the height of cut with it. It can go down to three quarters of an inch. And then the uh, Husqvarna does just a little bit more than that on its lowest cut setting. So 
Do I just let it be the fact that we have a robot mower and a rotary mower? You know, I don't know, but leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.